Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What's up everybody? It's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About today. Today we're going to learn about the latest butterfly fish. Prices on them, you'll spend about 30 bucks on them. Tank size, I would recommend about a 55 gallon. But by the time they get full size, I definitely recommend upgrading to about a 100 gallon. Care level, they are moderate mainly because of their diet. They can have a hassle of eating. They don't like to eat the stuff you feed them. So a lot of times getting them to eat can be kind of stressful. Temper, they are super peaceful. Reef compatible, definitely not. Their natural diet in the wild is things like polyps, zoas, and anemones. So you can definitely see why he would not be good in a reef tank. Diet, he is a carnivore. Temperature, keep about 72 to 78, DKH, 8 to 12, pH, 8.1, 8.4, and your salinity, 1.020 to 1.025. Max size, and get about 6 inches, pretty big butterfly. Compatibility, just ask. We have put them with other butterfly fish before, like the banded, and they did just fine, so you could definitely put them with other stuff. Color, is that nice black and yellow ground and down them. Origin, they do come from Indonesia, so... He is a master at eating aptasias. A lot of times we have this guy in the shop and we take him to different tanks that are getting overrun by him and put him in there for a couple months and he'll knock them out and then we just take him out and put him in another tank that's filled with aptasia. A lot of times whenever you go to your fish store, ask them what they're feeding him so that you can be feeding him the same thing because like I said, he does get tough at eating. A lot of times we try to get him on mysis. They seem to like that and blood worms. A lot of times butterfly fish are really big about eating the worms in your tank. So definitely try to get some blood worms in there for them. And if you have an aptasia problem, I would definitely recommend these guys. It's a really easy butterfly fish to take care of. Definitely a beginner. So if you got any other questions, let me know. Let me know if you have one and what you got them with to help some other people out. And that's about it for the lattice butterfly fish. He's super simple. I hope you all have a good day. Make sure to like and subscribe. Check out my social media. And I guess I will see y'all tomorrow. See you later. We just hit a thousand subscribers. Thank y'all so much. I love y'all. I can't thank y'all enough from that. All started out with me just working in the fish store with an idea to let everyone know how to take care of some fish. And here we are a thousand deep and it feels great. So to celebrate... For the whole month of June, every single day, I'm going to put out a new episode of All About, about some kind of fish, some kind of crustacean, maybe different things on how to take care of stuff. But just either way, every single day, you're going to be getting a video from me, and it's going to be awesome, maybe even more videos. So here we go. Stay tuned. Here comes celebrating a 1,000 subscribers.